hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited to have you guys on my very next video if you are new on this channel please subscribe to this channel like this video as we get right into the topic of the day so today we'll be covering a very interesting topic one that is often asked among aspiring game developers right is the topic of do i need a university degree to be a game developer and i'll break it down this topic in this very video stay tuned guys <laughs> So, coming to this very topic, there are two important aspects to focus on, right? We we'll focus on the education aspect, right? Like the degree that you want to get. Then we we'll focus on the portfolio and skill acquisition aspect of a game development. Coming to the education aspect of game development, there are now schools, right, that teach you how to make games and give you a certificate and a degree for it right i'm talking about physical schools now like okay here in africa we don't have such but i've not seen any african you know country that does that where game development is actually a degree in such university but there are universities in the us in the uk and some european countries where that option is actually available so for the education aspect right you go to a university to earn a degree right in game development you have your coursework you're able to learn how to program how to code if you're taking the um, gameplay programming route you go to an art school you know if you want to be an artist or maybe an animator you go into a design school maybe you want to be a game designer of some sort so there are schools like that that gives you the opportunity to learn skills at the same time build your portfolio education gives you that bandwidth to do to do such so you're able to interact with your colleagues your teammates that's your classmates <laughs> in school and you're able to learn some of these skills right you have the lecturers coming in who are most most likely industry experienced professionals individuals come to teach you how to make games yeah so that's the education route if you are taking that so why education route is an amazing option right for aspiring game developers there's a downside to it and downside is that it's very very costly very expensive like degrees in games in such schools are always very very expensive and if you don't have the budget for it, you might not, you know, see that as a viable route for you. It's a very good one, right? I mean, coming with the perks of you being able to learn from industry professionals, you know, you having classroom experience, you having, you know, text exams to encourage you to learn, you being able to work with, you know, individuals from different departments, being able to have a very polished, probably final year project. But the downside is you have to pay for all of this. It comes with a very huge cost. Talking figures now, right? It costs about uh, that's approximately thirty thousand dollars to about eighty thousand dollars to earn a degree in game development. I mean, that's comparable to other types of degree like computer science, computer engineering, even electronics engineering. And so, it's is it worth it spending that kind of money, right, to earn a degree in game development? So that's the education route. That's the downside. Like you pay for it. It's costly it's expensive so if you have the money go for it if you don't have the budget right to go to a college to learn how to make games like you can't spend thirty five thousand thirty thousand eighty thousand dollars to know how to make games well there's an option which many today adopt this is the option that i myself adopted and it has worked for me the industry doesn't require you to compulsorily have a degree you know in computer science or game development to be a game developer and uh, when i'm talking i'm talking more for gameplay programmers so for artists i think it's very similar so it's not required it's not compulsory uh, right so there is a there's an alternative route for individuals who wants to know how to make games that can't afford or that don't have budget right for an actual university degree and that's the route of self-learning and that's you building portfolio and skills yourself so you're actually teaching yourself how to make games I mean, how you teach yourself, right? There are resources online to learn. So you go on some platforms, which I will share with you in a bit, to learn how to make games, right? This route is cheaper. Like, like I said, it's not expensive as you going to a college to learn how to make games. It's cheaper, right? I mean, cost effective. But there's a downside to it as well. It requires you to stay committed. Like, 
unlike the education route where curriculums are already planned out by the university for you so you just take courses you don't need to know how they structure the curriculum you just know that you are in class you are learning the right things you are on the right path for the downside here for you know reduce self learning and getting the experience and building your own portfolio is you are most likely doing trial by error i did that you know when i started my game dev career so you are doing trial by error you are learning these bits in bits and pieces together in the end it's going to make sense i mean depending on how willing and how committed and dedicated you are to learning but it's not the easiest route it takes you time to learn because you might learn the wrong things and you know learn in not you know the right order you are learning in the wrong order probably you should learn this before you learn this but you're learning this before you learn this in the end it all makes sense absolutely but it will take you more time to learn so the sub learning route is cheaper like i said it takes you long, longer to learn and requires your willingness and commitment to learning so you are you won't schooling yourself now you know it's probably you give four hours or five hours or six hours or seven hours per day to learning how to make games <laughs> so this route is more friendly uh, more budget friendly let me put it that way for most individuals and i've seen so many people in the industry like i mean amazing talents take this route like so it doesn't limit you from getting the right skills it's just that you will need to hunt for the right skills like yourself one thing i do or i did that you can do is to find ways to get university curriculums or proper structure of courses to self learn so i self learned but having a an approach to learning so i know the things i should be learning and the resources i should be looking out for so i'm able to get the best of resources to learn that's so amazing if you can't do that right so there are platforms where you can learn how to make games yourself we have udemy a lot of amazing courses if you use them um, unity use unreal you use zbrush use maya use blender use all these tools you know cinema 4d and the, and the likes go on um, udemy courses are often discounted you can learn there there's plural sites they have great courses for unity some for unreal you can go on that platform you see good courses right so you can go on youtube i mean the biggest encyclopedia of you know awesome videos by amazing creators so you can watch out for very great channels where you can learn how to make games right there are tutorials there we have very big and robust resources for game creation just make sure you put in the right keywords i can drop link to some of them in my you know description or maybe i can collect them together and put them in the notion app and share them with you guys depending on how I'm, what i'm able to do but you can go on that platform youtube it's a very amazing one and um read documentation you know of software you use if you use unity read into docs if you use unreal read on real docs so that will really help you understand the tools you are using better right there are other platforms as well where you can learn i mean if you do art you can go on art station after i pick but art station they made a lot of courses free so you can go there get courses learn so many <laughs> options out there but those are like my go-to options those are the ones i've used that I can to some extent vouch for that you would get something very helpful there. Oh uh, yeah. In summary, if you've been looking at learning how to make games, like if not been able to figure it out, I believe this video is going to put in some perspective to how you can go about learning. So in summary, oh I mean summary of everything I've spoken about so far is there are two different routes to take to learn how to make games. You can also combine both. I mean, it works, right? It's not one or the other. You can, I mean, you can be in a university, right? Getting your degree at the same time, teaching yourself how to make games. Still works. So, but if you're taking one exclusive, like exclusively, you know, or the other, then you have to know what you're getting into, right? If you want to get a degree, look for colleges out there where you can learn and you know get um the course the actual the right course like game development or gameplay programming or ai in games whichever one you want to learn i mean as long as is a you know a course in the games industry and from a recognized university very good university university with reputation in teaching people how to make games so once you have that then take maybe it's a year program two years program three years program four years program whichever learn how to make games 
from industry professional. And one good thing about going to a college, I mean, or university to learn how to make it is they hand you over to the industry as soon as you finish, you know, your degree. Like once you're working on your final project, they bring folks from the industry to even inspect such projects. And you could use your final year project to land your first job, your entry level job in the games industry. So it becomes quite easy for you. And some of your lecturers might be industry professionals, you know, working with some of these big studios that you've always dreamed of working in. So it's still a very good, you know, it's, it's still a very good, it's still a very good option. I mean, you're paying for it, so you're getting the value of your money. Yeah, so the other side, like I, like I mentioned, is the self-learning route, right? So if you are on a budget, you don't have budget to go to these IN schools or these colleges to learn how to make games and you want to still learn, take the courses I've mentioned in, you know, previously in the video. Go to those platforms, pick a tutorial, start learning, start teaching yourself. It's going to take you some time. Don't worry, stay committed, <laughs> keep at it. You will definitely have a breakthrough with this, right? There are people who have done it and it works. Like, I mean, it worked for me. It's still working for me. I still go on this platform to upgrade my skills, to learn new things. You can't stop learning. <laughs> so there's there are options i mean there's an option for everyone so if you want to take this route education take it if you want to take self-learning personal portfolio building and skill development take it and in the end we all meet in the industry industry doesn't you know seclude anyone as long as you own your skills and you know you have a very good portfolio you have a very good standing you are ready for the job and you will get the job so in my next video, I'll be talking about how to land your first job in, in the game situation, especially if you're you know, a student or someone very early in your career. I'll be covering that topic. You guys should stay tuned to my very next video. Thank you so much for staying true to the end of this video, guys. And I believe you're able to learn something from this video. I hope this video is very helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a comment in, this, in the comment section. Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, it tells me a lot. And let's keep this going. You know, as you anticipate my very next video, don't worry, I'm going to deliver quality for you guys. So um, you guys should leave me comments. You have questions, ask them in the comment section. I will do where to respond to them. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>